I'm a fan of Chuck E. Cheese, and I've been going there since I was four years old. I get all filled with joy when I see my parents driving our car to the Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Theater, and, you know, I go there mostly for the games and pizza, but I also love Chuck E. Cheese, who was the mascot of the restaurant. He's a tall, furry mouse slash rat. Whatever. You know, my family has been going there since it first opened in 77, and I was four when it first opened. Back then, I was creeped out from the Chuck E. Cheese robot that always stood at the back of the place. It was right in the wall by the area where the birthday parties are held, and it's turned on throughout the whole day that the place is open. It moves to the songs that are played back there, and also whenever someone has a birthday party held there, there is someone dressed in a Chuck E. Cheese costume that dances with the kids, and a song is played in the speakers. After the dance with Chucky, there would be a ticket confetti thrown by him for the kids to have free tickets. Throughout the years, there have been a couple of weird occurrences that have happened in Chuck E. Cheese that I've attended in my whole life. For example, there was a complete blackout and complete silence for like five minutes, I think. When the lights finally turned back on, everything went back to normal, as if nothing happened. It was pretty scary. It was as dark as my room at night when I go to sleep, and the fact that it was totally silent for the entire time made it even more creepy for me. Another weird occurrence that happened was the Chuck E. Cheese robot completely stopping and just looking at me. It kept staring right at me, but its eyes didn't follow me when I moved around. I moved away from its crosshairs, and it didn't follow me, so it wasn't as creepy, but you know, still pretty creepy. There was another occurrence that wasn't quite right, and what happened was Chucky just fell down and hit his head while doing the free tickets dance. All the dancing just completely stopped. All the kids next to me who were dancing three seconds ago just stood there completely still, with their mouths open. Chucky got back up and walked like a zombie around in circles while taking bold looks at the kids. He was just circling around the place where he was dancing, and walking the same way that a, that a drunk person would, you know? It was clear that he probably had some sort of brain damage. And even as an eight-year-old, I knew that it had to be some sort of brain damage. An ambulance was called in, and the ambulance people said that he had a brain trauma. But I learned later that he survived. Chucky came back about a week or two later. That isn't all of the strange happenings that I've witnessed, though. But that is some of them. I won't put out all of them, because that would make my story very long, and it won't even be worth it. My parents watch me when I'm dancing with Chucky for the free tickets, but they barely even watch me when I go play on the arcade games. And now they know well that they're going to have to supervise me a lot more often now, because of what happened that fateful day. I've had nightmares for the whole month. On my 10th and most likely last birthday at Chuck E. Cheese, my parents took me there, where since I finally turned double digits, they would make this very special for me. How would it be special, you ask? They let me stay in the Chuck E. Cheese for six hours. Now, we normally only stay there for one or two hours, so I decided to run around and play in every single arcade game. My parents had given me several hundred tokens, so I had more than enough to join my birthday here. I really love playing at the section of the place where you put in a token, it'll give you a supply of heavy balls that weigh about one to two pounds, and you have to roll them up a ramp and try to land the balls into the holes that have the numbers 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, and so on. Those numbers are the amount of points you get when you land the balls in those pits, right? So I went there, as I do every single time I go there. I had gotten at least 30,000 points from this play, which was a lot more points than usual. There was a guy who was watching me the whole time, and he congratulated me for getting the highest score anybody has ever gotten in the history of this restaurant. And I thanked him. He told me I deserve a prize, and he pulled out something from his bag. It appeared to be a black rectangular brick, but then I realized right away that that it was a VHS tape. It was weird because nobody has ever given me a VHS tape at Chuck E. Cheese before. 
I looked at the label of it, and it said, Evidence. Do not tamper. I guess the guy who gave it to me was a police officer. So I asked him if he was, and he said no. He told me he was the janitor there, and told me to tell my parents to give it to the police. I asked him what was on the tape, and he said, Something terrible happened here that I saw, and the police needs to know about this. Please, give this to the cops. Why would he give this as a prize? This was definitely not a prize. I got pretty curious about what was on the tape, but I decided to do what the guy told me to, and so I ran to my parents to give the tape to them, and told them to give it to the police. They told me when we leave, they will. When I gave it to my parents, the pizza was already here. I didn't recognize the pizza, so I asked my parents what pizza it was, and they told me that it was new. It was called Chucky's Special. I then remembered seeing that commercial on TV that showed Chucky talking about making Chucky e. cheeses better than ever. Brand new pizza was added on the menu. It had a lot of sauces and a lot of cheese. I then looked at the pizza and took a piece so I can try it. And I gotta be honest, it was the best pizza that I've ever tasted. It was a lot better than the regular cheese pizza. And as I was eating it, I... I, I had something very hard and slimy in my mouth. I pulled it out, and it looked like part of someone's finger. I asked my mom what it was, and she took it out of my hands and screamed, What the hell is this? She called over an employee and asked him about it. He looked at it and was absolutely horrified. What the hell? I, I actually don't know how it got into the pizza. He yelled. He went to tell the manager, and the manager picked up the red telephone that was in his desk and stuck his fingers into the number holes. He dialed the police, and the police investigated the restaurant. But before they did, I reminded my mom to give them the VHS tape, and she did. The police officer that my mom gave the tape to thanked us and asked us if we knew what happened. I told him that someone's finger was on my pizza. I could tell he was absolutely disgusted since his, his face went pale. He was writing down everything that me and my parents were telling him. We were ordered to evacuate the restaurant so that the police can investigate, and they also closed it down to make sure no one could come in. We went home and turned on our TV, which we had gotten a few months before that day, and saw on the news that two bodies of young children were found in Chuck E. Cheese. Which was, of course, that same Chuck E. Cheese that we just went to for my birthday. The news also mentioned a VHS tape that had been reviewed by the police. And what was on the tape was... It, well, it was Chucky giving some pizza and soda for two little girls who were around eight or nine. Then, later in the tape, it showed the two kids passed out on the spot. Chucky came back with a butcher knife and chopped both of the bodies with it into small pieces of flesh. The camera pointed at the kitchen where Chucky was mixing the body parts into the pizza that he was cooking in the oven and was smiling at the camera. He said, This will make the pizza better than it ever has been in the world. That was pretty much what was on the tape. Pretty... Pretty horrifying, right? You know, Chucky was arrested and brought to a mental hospital. He was questioned about the murders, and he said that he just wanted to make the pizza better. He started crying, saying, I'm not a bad mouse, repeatedly, even on the way to court. That Chuck E. Cheese pizzeria was shut down permanently, and has never been reopened. It's... Well, it's now 2018, and I'm the same person who experienced and wrote down that event above. I'm quite injured, and I'm lying down in the middle of a kitchen table. I have no idea what's happening now, but the last thing I remember is going to my son's birthday party in a Chuck E. Cheese. I saw my son pass out, and everyone around me was passing out too. Well, the very last thing I remember was Chuck E. 
smashing everyone who is still conscious with a baseball bat. I see Chucky right next to me with a bloody butcher knife, and he's smiling at me. He said, welcome to my kitchen, and, and went back to the sink and is sharpening the butcher knife. If I get out of this alive, I will update this. I see him holding his butcher knife a few inches above me. It's lifting up to the ceiling. And it's falling down towards...